Hi guys, greetings from Yasu. I'm at the tail end of a cold and my voice has completely disappeared, so we're just gonna push through. I am here in Yasu for today. I arrived around 10.30 and then all day tomorrow. So we have about two days to see everything. Um, and today we're actually heading out of Yasu. Um, we are gonna be here. I'm gonna check out the lighthouse and then I'm gonna warm up my voice with a cup of coffee. And then we're actually gonna get on a bus and head pretty far down south um, and see this really beautiful temple apparently that I'm excited about. This is a noisy boat. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna kind of check out this little harbor and uh, start our day. So welcome to Yasu. Also, the second I got off the train, it smelled like the ocean. So you know you're in a good place. I'm very happy here. Oh, there's a noisy dog too. My God, this town is awake. All right, let's go. Well, it wouldn't have been a Carrie Cakes vlog without a lot of unexpected stairs. So here we are, we've made it to the top. Now it looks like we're just on a more rampy kind of surface, which I'm fine with. Let's go. Okay, so that cafe was lovely. Played really great music, really great vibes in there. Um, and the guy was super nice when I came in. And when I ordered, like I asked him a bunch of questions cause the like food wasn't out yet. So we talked a little bit and then he was like, oh, your Korean's really good. And I said, no. And then he said, like, if I only heard your voice, I would think you're Korean. And then I was like, oh, it's cause I have a cold. And then we just kind of looked at each other like, just one of those things where you're like, God, couldn't I have just kept my mouth shut? Like, couldn't I have just taken a compliment? But anyway, now there's construction and construction workers looking at me, so I'm gonna stop. But we're gonna get on the bus about two hours away. So we've got good music, got my phone charged. We're just gonna enjoy the views. So on to the next. Okay, so the ride was beautiful. I just would have enjoyed it more if I didn't think I was gonna die every second. That ride was supposed to take two hours and five minutes. It took 45. And the people, like normally I try to gauge how scary it is based on like how the Koreans, like the locals are reacting and everybody was like, what the hell is going on? So that bus ride was wild. I just took a picture of the schedule um, for when it's coming back to take me home. Um, and now I'm trying to find the temple. <laughs> so let's go. hike than I expected it's fine but just warning you it's like no joke I've been walking straight uphill for 10 minutes and uh, I don't see an end so <sighs> wear walking shoes I guess <laughs> I'm so 
so glad there are so many other people who are struggling too. I'm not alone. This is like insanely steep. Oh, good thing I'm not a quitter. Good thing that was a long bus ride or else I'd consider turning back, but we're stuck now. <sighs> confirm worth the hike. I'm out of breath. But this is just like Well, a little update, it's raining now, which wasn't in the cards, so that's fun, um, but it's it's so far um, just a light drizzle and I'm under a roof, so it's fine. I'm just waiting for the bus to turn around because this is the last stop, so he's taking his break. But all right, I'm glad it's happening once I'm down at the bottom of the hill. Yeah, it's raining hard. All right, well, all right, okay. Okay, we're back in Yasu. I'm hoping to find a little something warm to eat. It just, it suddenly got quite cold. Um, all the eateries where I were, where I was, um, they were all like closed for lunchtime. It was a, it was a weird time. And I have a feeling it's probably gonna be the same thing here. Hopefully not, cause I'm a little bit hungry. Um, so let's do that. And then there's a little ice cream shop I wanna try, even though it's cold. Gotta make sacrifices, so. Let's find food. So actually after that jjigae, I've decided my stomach cannot handle an interesting flavor of ice cream right now. Um, so we'll maybe put that off until tomorrow. The sun's gonna set soon. I know it doesn't look like it, but it is maybe the little food stalls will be open. I'm obviously not gonna eat from them tonight. Um, but we'll see if the pochas are there. And then I might just head to my Airbnb. I had to wake up at 5.40 this morning to get on my uh, train here. I'm very, very sleepy and we've got a busy day tomorrow. So I wanna kind of just relax, make sure that my voice comes back tomorrow. So I will um, leave you now. We will uh, continue our walk. Said we should look out further. I guess it wouldn't hurt us. We don't have to be around all these coffee shops. Now we've got that percolator. Never made a latte greater. I'm saving twenty-three dollars a week. So I'm passing a couple things that were on my list to do like at sunset, but I 
think because it is a weekday, it's a lot slower. So like my fault for coming on a weekday, maybe if I came on a Friday night or a Saturday night, it would be different, but the town is very quiet for what, what I expected. It's much quieter. I'm enjoying this park though. It's very beautiful, the Marine Time Park. Um, okay, putting my arm down, focusing on getting to the Airbnb. Drive to the house in Preston. We see police arrested. The man with his hand in the back. No, we wave. automatic door. Oh my god. <laughs> cute little living room kitchen thing come around it's me cute little bathroom very modern and my little bedroom and you know what's amazing there was a cafe I wanted to go to that I didn't think I'd have time to go to and you know where it is right there so i think i'm gonna go journal i was gonna sit here and journal but why don't i go down there and journal and maybe get a dessert because i haven't had a dessert so sorry for going to uh two cafes or three three cafes in one day um but that i just had kind of like a coughing fit and i really needed lemon tea um and i didn't want to drink more of my ginger tea because i think that's irritating my throat because I've had so much of it. So that was like for medicinal purposes and also to watch the sunset, but now we're gonna go to another one, I think. Good morning from Yasu. Sorry, I'm so bouncy. Um, I'm trying to catch a bus. Buses do not come very frequently here. We're heading to the cable car. I'm deciding whether I'm brave enough to get the glass bottom or not because it goes over water. I'm thinking I'm not. We'll see. But anyway, I'm gonna focus on walking quickly. See you at the cable car. Good morning. Now that I made sure I didn't miss the bus, we are at Dolsan, Dolsan, Dolsan Park. It is a beautiful, like incredibly clear day. It's also really cold. I'm glad I'm not in Seoul right now because it's in the 30s in Fahrenheit and it's four Celsius, I think. Here it's like nine, so it's not that bad. Um, but anyway, we're going to go get on the cable car, see this gorgeous city from the air, um, and then continue on our day. So, Happy Yasu Day 2! It's gonna be a hundred once I get over water. 
This is so... Oh my god. <laughs> no! Okay, let's see if these people will wave this nice person. Nope. She's just staring. I'm fine. Okay, okay, okay. Nice little bumps. We knew this was gonna happen. We knew it was gonna be bumpy. Okay. So, Loki wanna die. Actually, like, I don't. I don't wanna die. Um, maybe I should just close my eyes? I don't know. Oh my god. I'm not looking down. Let's just say that. Oh my god. So, sound carries very strangely up here. And so they're doing like crazy construction on a boat underneath me and it literally sounds like someone is standing on top of my car dropping tools <laughs> and like breaking things. Oh my god, I'm literally, I'm shaking so badly. Um, it's, li it's quite peaceful if you aren't just like scared of everything like I am. It's really beautiful. It's very very lightly swaying, but you honestly can't even feel it if you close your eyes. Um, so I, oh, I look down. Okay, so it's it's fine. It's really fine, but just like get out of your head. I'm still very much in my head, if you couldn't tell. Um, anyway, <laughs> beautiful view. <laughs> oh God. Hello. God, we're almost done. Uh. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. Okay, we're back over land. Uh, I'm so, so happy that I chose to do the one way originally. I was thinking of doing the round trip. Um, it was really beautiful, but I could not, I could not take going back over. Um, I'm, I'm going to be surprised if I can get out. My legs are shaking so badly. I'm not even like that scared of heights. I'm just scared of man-made machines not working. Okay, we're going through the trees now. I'm going to enjoy this. Okay. <laughs> we can also go to that island, but God, beautiful day. I'm so glad I did this today um, and not yesterday when it was so cloudy. It is gorgeous. Oof. Oh, uh, thank God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I just want to be on the ground again. That's all I want. <laughs> now that I saw that four leaf clover bread, all I want is like a little kwaja cookie thing. The bungo bong place is closed. I'm craving it. Oof. working at that place. It's called Beck Hin. Um, the women working there were so sweet. Um, they make everything. It's just like the two of them. So it takes a while for the food to come out. And they were like so thorough about what was in everything. And they were like, oh, like, where are you from? You're just here on vacation. You live in Seoul. That's so cool. Like people are really excited when people come to visit cities that aren't like Busan or Seoul um, and I just they just looked it just makes me happy that they look so happy that people are like coming to their town so anyway now we're gonna get a little bit of coffee or like a hot drink once again my throat and this view it's it just stopped now but it's like very windy 
Um, so I'm also gonna just get inside to escape that. So yeah, we're gonna head back today. Still got a few hours here. God, the light hitting the water is just so pretty. So anyway, uh, on to the next. <laughs> if you can't even hear me we're at Mansangri beach black beach because it apparently has black sand slash rocks it's really windy i'm gonna stop i'm just gonna show you let's go let's go trip so I have just enough time to kind of repack my bag um, and walk over to the train station I'm staying right next to the train station um overall Yasu I feel like it was okay as a solo trip um but for me I think I would have enjoyed it more if I came with someone because a lot of the food especially that I wanted to try was like a two-person thing so I felt a little more limited here than I did in other places. It's also just a quieter town and I came on a weekday so um, I'm sure it's much different especially like in the summer. This is November. This is such a random time to come. Um, so I'm sure if you came in summer or during spring because all of these trees are apparently cherry blossoms like it's crazy in the spring so um yeah i would just choose to come maybe at a different time or bring another person with you um but overall it was it was just really peaceful um i wonder what it's like to live here because the area that i'm in is just like this massive living complex and i guess school just got out because there were like kids everywhere and it like was the most lively it felt the whole trip um it was really cute so i just i wonder um what the vibe is to live here if you live here comment down below i'm sorry if i couldn't do quite enough justice it's another one of those places where if i had more time i could go further and do more things um but with this pocket of time i did the most that i could so yeah i will uh i will probably be back here in yosu in warmer weather and i will bring an eating partner um, but overall, it was really lovely. I feel very relaxed, especially that beach. That was really nice. I sat there for a while. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm going to get ready for my train home. And uh, it's really cold in Seoul right now. So I'm not looking forward to going home. But um, yeah, we must. And so I will see you there. Thank you as always for joining me. Bye. Bye.